Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Vampure coming at you with a nutter Troll vs. Elves video. The videos you guys love so much. So, decided to play Troll this time. Uh, obviously, because I always pick Troll just for the single fact that sometimes people want to be Troll, so I kind of want to try to contest or try my luck at being Troll. If I get the opportunity to be Troll, then I just play it. If I don't, it is what it is. As a vimp was one vimp would say, right? It's gonna win walk. Try. I'm gonna try to do uh, my best to kind of over explain everything that I'm doing, so you guys kind of see what I'm thinking whenever I'm playing troll. So maybe you guys can try to improve when you're playing a uh, troll. So uh, first things first, want to be hawking your structures. This on number two, and uh, I'm using number one to hotkey my troll. So it kind of depends if you what's your preference, but I like to do so that way. Uh, pretty much what I like to do early is go for Troll Hut. Especially this guy, this guy doesn't have much time to build. He should be building towers as soon as possible, which he isn't. Personal preference, I kind of like going for Troll Hut level 2. Because it's not expensive and it's definitely worth it. And you're pretty much not wasting time since you kind of don't want to walk back and try to... Attack a base, uh, walk back, grab some items, and go back attack the base. So pretty much you're farming gold at the same time. Since uh, the difference, I guess, of you coming, come, kind of coming back, grabbing items, and going back, you're wasting the same amount of time that you would be making for, I guess, just standing here and making some good old income, right? So you want to be revealing bases in such a way that you're revealing multiple bases at the same time. So you always want to be re using reveal when it's off cooldown. Very, very important. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much how it works. I think I'm going to just back here. Hopefully this guy doesn't upgrade his towers too much. So we're going to go for... What I like to go for is definitely boots. Uh, we're going to go for a bit of attack speed, a bit of damage, and a bit of health. Oh, hotkeys don't work. That's a really big bummer. I did miss out on 100 gold, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. I uh, always like to use wind walk to move faster towards a position. I like to get boots early, so I'm able to go to a position faster. So uh, that's, I guess, my main strategy. Uh, also, you want to be... The thing is, what I like to do is go back to the same base um, early until I kind of scout a new one. Uh, we're going to kind of review... This would be a really good reveal, and we're, we're lucky. Amazing. So this guy should never be building more than, I would say, three or four towers. It's kind of overkill at this point. So I did was really lucky on that reveal. I want to back here a little bit because I don't want to lose my, my chance at winning this game, obviously. So actually make sure... I actually want to try something afterwards whenever we... I wish hotkeys would work and this would make such a difference, but it is what it is. So I want to try to, let's say if I can actually TP and then sell items at the same time. I'm not too sure if you're kind of able to uh, do that, but we'll try. This guy just upgraded his wall. That's a r Oh, he's going for ultra wall, which is, this is quite qu costly, so that's going to give me a lot of time to farm here. That's very good. I think we're going to go for Troll Hut level 2. So the main stats you guys want to go for is definitely attack speed, uh, damage, and health. These seem to have been working quite well for me. Um, so far, I have never really gotten any complaints or uh, haven't had too, ma too much trouble, I guess. I Should I say? Oh, that's that's a terrible placement. Now he's, he can't really get, get here. He would have to blink pretty much. Oof, that's kind of bad. Anyway, it's this is off cooldown. Let's use it. This way would be better. Okay, so that's good to know. Oh, it does work. No way. That's so cool. Okay, okay. I like... Okay. 
So I'll let you guys know what I just did. This is this is a game changer and a half if I've seen one. Uh, let's get this played. So what you can actually do is queue up a couple of, um, I would say, actions. So basically I can queue up the teleportation and sell items at the same time. This just made my gameplay so much better. So another pro tip for you guys would be um, the second... Oh, this... A lot of new players on this game, obviously, because this is very awkward. I think these are going to spawn on this side too, so... Yeah, and he just used his entangle. That's a pretty bad. Takes away all his kill pressure, unless there's someone else on the map. Okay, so we do know there's someone over here. No one there, interesting. Back away a little bit, let's make sure that we don't die here. So you see I can sell everything really fast and get to building again. Okay, so I'm going to have to get a little bit better at that. might take me a while until I, I kind of perfect it, but uh, we get the general idea. Right, there's someone over here, let's get to it. So pretty much you're queuing actions. Essentially I queue, I'm pretty much teleporting. The cell second I can channel the teleport, I start selling items, pressing shift on a structure. So the second I teleport, they instantly go sell themselves and I'm able to buy new items. Instead of, you know, obviously being over here, right clicking into shop and so on. Which takes a bit of time. We're learning stuff, Boris. We're learning. So we did upgrade our hut, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed. Very important to kind of let you guys know. Uh, we can kind of reveal here. I think this is going to be the best reveal. Okay, so that's very, very good. Okay, that didn't work for some reason. Perfecto, let's get a better health, better damage. That was a kind of a mistake because I kind of wasn't in the middle. You want to be teleporting to the... Oh, that's true, that's another pro tip. So definitely, you definitely want to be teleporting to the middle because you want to be healing at the same time, right? So that's another thing. Put your items in the bottom because this is pretty much max, max attack speed and speed. So you don't need anything else. Testingo! Ultra destructive, so we're going to have to watch out a little bit. Getting a decent amount of income. Our teleportation is queuing up soon. So sell this. Ah, uh, that should be good. We could, we could go for this, go back straight away. I could have sold this to go the uh, the other one, but I just want to farm as fast as possible. So another thing in this game, whenever you're playing troll, is proximity, right? So since this guy is very close to my base, I want to aim for him as much as possible. Let's go for this, and then we could start going for a bit of armor. Not really necessary, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go for it. Perfecto. Uh, we did reveal this guy's base. Try to see if we reveal this bottom base. There's for sure someone there. No way he hasn't built any towers yet. That's such a mistake. How could you? Okay, he did use Entangle. Takes away all of his kill pressure. Very good. He pretty much cannot upgrade more than Omega Towers, that I know, because he needs to build a, a laboratory. So, uh, yeah. If the orcs weren't enough. Wish there was freaking hotkeys for this, would, it, would make us such a difference. And now, obviously, I want to go in the bottom, because this guy has literally no towers. It's going to be pretty much over. I think this is the feed. This is the final feed here. <laughs> That's going to make... Uh, so As you guys probably have noticed, the, the best way for you to play troll, obviously buy these three stats, nothing else. And make sure that you're um, being proactive on the map. Always scouting dual bases. Uh, like so. So you're, you're having as much information from one reveal. And you want to be using the reveal as much as possible. 
I did reveal this spot uh, already, so that was a <laughs> bad reveal on my But it's okay. So yeah, I can already tell you guys by ju this this feed we can uh, technically win the game. I don't think this guy has a laboratory. That's so much feed. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty much over, boys. So uh, yeah, we're good. Yep, you need to build a laboratory, my friend. And it's a lot of lumber. I think he's, he's building it as we speak. We do have enough for one lumber, which is going to be get our damage item. XX Falcon XX, my friend. You are feeding me quite a bit. Uh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I mean, that's good. That's good. We need some. Get rid of this. What am I doing? Any, we need max health. That should be good. Let's go towards uh, this guy. And at this point, you would just want as much damage as possible. Whenever it comes to like additional stats, stats. The more damage you have, the more gold you're getting back. He needs to upgrade his wall like yesterday. Here we go. This guy decided to help the troll. Interesting. Why would you do that, my friend? Let's go kill this guy. Purple is building. Okay, so now we can kind of see where everyone is at. Oh, that's a lot of Omega Towers. This is a dangerous base to go to. Whew! Okay! That was spicy! Quite a bit of health, and I think we go for yellow. I could technically go... I, I guess this was to... If you really want to play this game like a tryhard, like a filthy tryhard, you definitely don't want to go for extra health. You don't need it. Pretty much just need damage at this point. Just for safety measures, I guess. If you're an insecure biash like me, then you <laughs> that's what you go for. Alright, let's take this wall out if it's possible. It should be good, in my opinion. Ooh. Alright, Falcon, I see you. He needs to repair, or else he's, uh... Or just uses his ability. That works, too. I'm wasting a lot of time here. Here we go. Uh, Gem of True Sight. I think there's this. Not combinable. Sell this one. Get these. Juanax. Let's go to Purple's base. Just go to a different base, I guess, for now. Uh, we do have insane amount of damage at this point. You should have sold this for bonus damage, but we're good, pretty much. It's not going to matter. We're going to take this thing down, like, so easily. Where's this guy? Ah, there he is. Very good. TP back. You've seen a lot, of, a lot of times I actually TP back very fast. You guys should be doing that, too, because you want to be basing, getting bonus... Other items and so on. Uh, I guess we're good here. Let's go to Blue's base. Let's 
a lot of freaking damage. Armor, and we're pretty much good. Pretty much next item is gonna be last year one. He's gonna have to, yeah, use that ability. Very good, very good. He knows what he's doing. What are you doing? What? I wasn't even, I was watching the time. <laughs> what? I was actually watching the time of the recording. <laughs> he literally trolled. Or we're getting along just fine. At this point, I'm a little bit too fat, guys, for them to do anything. Is there like an ability that you can go for, which is maximum speed? Maybe it's not this version. I think it's not. Anyways. Let's go to red space, and uh, we're gonna kill one by one at this point. So wait, we got two. What happened here? What? What happened here? Are you kidding me? Wasting so much time for no reason. Uh, you want to be keeping obviously the uh, boots because boots uh, are good for you. You want to be roaming around the map. Big big maps like this, obviously, you want to have boots. Like, it's crucial. What is stunning me? Ah, uh, the elves, I see. As if the orcs weren't enough. The trolls come in. Ruin everything. I hate when people do this. Just TP on me, like, that's so freaking annoying. Oh, perfect stun. Hopefully people stay. Just need to kill everyone, but... What is this? Is there, uh, is there someone in the bottom right? I think there is. Oh, Red was here. That's true. He didn't feed me. Oh my god. Please don't uh, stun me. That, w that would really suck. No stun, please. Please. Ah, we're good. If he stunned me there, he probably could have won. Maybe because that... I don't know. Casually get <laughs> two uh, max blades. Let's get yellow. I think he's the. Mo I will just die. Yes, he will. See how powerful I have two max blades, and he still survives here. That's crazy. That's why you want to go for wall as soon as possible. Oh, there he is, I see. Uh, yes. This or this is a good idea. Do you want to be troll? No. So, a lot of people have been asking for Max Elves too. We could try, but I guess it depends, obviously, right? If, like, the player knows what he's doing. 
So as Elv, you want to be building a structure as early as possible so you're able to get income. Build this up and then you want to level up, put a rock down. Like so. Uh, in a smaller map it's obviously very easy for the troll to uh, farm so it kind of depends on everyone. Uh, if people know how to properly play this game they would build towers as soon as possible. But yeah, you can't really rely on that. So, let's see how this one plays out. Hundred gold. So you definitely want to be working towards your your upgrades as fast as possible. There's a oh no way. I want this house as early as possible. So this is a good strategy, so it, it, these walls pretty much let you know whenever the um, the troll is coming. This is you, play, you do this a lot in vampirism, it's a little bit more effective in vampirism I would say because you can do, them, do this a little bit more effectively with the TPs and stuff, but overall it works too in uh, yeah, this guy, no spells to build. <laughs> he just kills himself because there's no space. Well, that's actually true. <laughs> well, there is. Just needs to look a little bit for it. Yeah, I don't, I'm not. It, I kind of don't agree with him, like, just giving up as fast as that, but. Can't really do much about it. Sadly. Let it go to reveal. They might go towards my base. I kind of want this house first. I don't know if that's possible. The second I see him over here, I'll start upgrading. Perfecto. Start up getting some upgrades as soon as possible. Let's not risk it. We do have our ultra wall. So another pro tip which I did not mention in a video, but what you want to go for is do not go for castle upgrade even though it's a requirement. You do not want to go for castle first because this costs a bit of money. money. So you want to be getting your wood first. That's why, because you want to get it at the lowest price in the market. I think it's 32, so this is going to be expensive but it's going to be worth it. Here we go. And now I can actually go for castle. Perfecto. Upgrade my house level 5. That's the thing, whenever there's a wolf early it kind of breaks the game, especially in a small map like this. It's a little bit harder for the for the elves, but it is what it is. We can't do much. This is like an interesting placement of tower. I kind of like this. gonna give you lumber 32 <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> he asked for 32 lumber are you kidding me kind of greedy if you ask me let the killing begin Start getting a bit and start selling lumber. Oh, they're worth 300 gold. That's crazy. So another pro tip. Obviously, some most of you guys already know this, but the, for the people that have no idea what I'm talking about, you want to be getting a um, ancient tree as soon as possible, and you want to be selling uh, wood. So wood is very valuable at the beginning. So that's why you see a lot of people going for uh, professional collectors and so on. Zygon is very greedy, so he goes for the simple collectors, but I kind of like to go for professional. So you're able to sell these at very good prices early, and you get pretty much snowball your lead from there. It's a lot of gold that he just got. So the trick is elves, you don't want to be greedy, right? Upgrade towers, guys. It 
So if if people wait until they they come to your uh, to your base to upgrade, that's when we lose. Uh, so that should get some upgrades. Spike, that's good. So there's they're worth so much money at this point. So let's go for fortress. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. That's hilarious. <laughs> I just baited him in. I'm so good at this. I'm just so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man. So basically how I should have played that better. Um I had a that was a mistake from uh, my end. So basically what I did there uh is I had toggled auto repair on which was a mistake which I shouldn't have done. Uh, let's actually use some So I'm kind of confused sometimes the uh, by the way if you see me like kind of misclick and stuff it's because I'm used to hotkeys that are different. They kind of vary from a version to another so it is ah, these kind of suck, but this one will have to do. There we go. So we're pretty much going for the same thing here. Who is troll? So blue dude, I see. So there's two versus there's times two versions. Sometimes you know. Sometimes uh, the version is, uh, the hotkeys are different, so it's QWR on the 8.8, .8, I think, and this one is, like, kind of different. I don't know why. But that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. So these guys have dual base, which is fine. This guy gets, he's gonna feed so much. There we go. Your building is complete. Hmm. An elf would have thought of something better. Kinda wanna build towers in the good areas like here would be good. Uh, here maybe like one over here. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Since I will not have movement. Okay, this is the uh these are the good positions I guess. It's going for damage. A lot of people have no idea what they're doing, so that's another problem. <laughs> Is that uh, there are so many new players that don't know how to properly play troll or elves, so you know, it, some of these games become very unbalanced. Like this guy didn't even go heal. Why? He's gonna die here? Okay, good, good, good. Castle. So, like I s told you guys, I'm gonna buy some lumber first. So I'm buying them at the lowest price as possible. I think it starts at 170 or something like that. So someone. Okay, this guy went from my base, which is interesting. So what sucks about this is that. I want to kind of prevent him to farm as much as possible. Kind of want to scare him too if it's... I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to try. Now we get Castle. See, so he did farm a good amount, but that's fine. We'll manage. So we got our house level 5, that's very good. Uh, where can we build our ancient tree? I think over here. That should work. Yeah, 
Can I help a teammate out? Which I kind of don't like to do. Because I kind of want to focus on uh, myself, right? If I focus on myself, I'm able to uh, get... I mean, it's two. It's not much, but the, it might make the difference. You know what I mean? The only problem with this positioning of the ancient tree is quite far from the, the tree line. So it might take a bit... That travel time might take a bit of time before we get... It's kind of risky, but... 330 gold. Holy! That's ex that's a lot. Thank you, sir. Gimme, 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 gimme. Go for another professional. But that's gonna be enough. I feel like he's definitely gonna come to my base, so that's why I kind of <laughs> I'm kind of upgrading here a little bit. Oh no, Falcon! Oh, that's gonna be bad. So it feels like okay, this guy's really. I'm trying to figure out if there's someone in the game that actually has no idea what you're, they're doing. So I'm getting ready to tell them to frickin' build towers. <laughs> Ah, oh, this guy's using a glitch. He's such a noob and he's using the glitch. I kind of hate it. It might work, we'll see. Whew, I was like, wait, are you actually just gonna die? Sell again. So we got our house, demonic wall. I mean, there's still a good price. Uh, at which point you kind of stop selling. Depends what kind of currency you need. At the, this point, I just pretty much need. Uh, I just need guild. So we're good. Could also go for complex, another complex. That's going to help out with our gold income. This is too easy. Yeah, you want to be using Divine as much as possible. Seventy gold. It starts to be pretty bad here. Demonic Wall is going to be next. Yeah, at this point, it's pretty much not worth it. But on the bright side, you can actually use your. Uh, you can actually buy wood for a really low price. So. There's that to consider, right? Right. I feel like this guy is going to come to my base soon enough. Uh, do I wait for this? I think I do. There we go. That's level 7. Start, start getting a couple of these collectors who are ready for him. Uh, definitely want to build these gold mines eventually, but the thing is, I don't have much space. Ah, this is such an awkward base. Most freaking awkward base ever. What's the next one? It's such a huge jump. Get another one. Between this and this should be like w at least one, because the thing is the difference between these two is insane. I have no choice to go for demonic wall and this upgrade here. Gets back up a little bit, so that's good. Let's start selling. 6.4. Let's wait for that. So we pretty much don't have a choice to go for houses at this point. He went for a regen. Which is not recommended, but it seems to work a little bit for him. So I do tell a lot of people not to go for regen. 
Reason being is because whenever they have like a lot of DPS on towers, like what does regen do for you here? You know what I mean? A lot of people have been t telling me like getting a high tier regen, drop elf health item and then regen back up, go back to the same base. I'm still haven't tried that strategy out yet. So I'm kind of curious to see if it works out the way they say it's so good. You know? So it's pretty much going to be just trial and error at this point. 16k, let's wait for this upgrade. Oh, I thought that was at my base. So see, guys, even though it's he's not attacking my base in particular, I'm still upgrading towers. So this is the exact strategy I was talking to you guys about. He dropped his health item, came to my base. I just face palm. I don't know if you guys noticed. So the thing is, it doesn't work. It's not the same hotkey. It's the same hotkey. So that's I could have killed them, uh, killed them there. If only this wasn't the same hotkey. So I tried R instead, but it wasn't the right one. I could have killed them. It's okay though. It happens. Happens to the best of us. So the price is very good at the moment, so let's start selling. Oh, someone just sold. Damn. Someone took advantage of that, so that's good. So at this point, we just go for secret collectors and we wait. I love how we, I talk about a specific strategy and the second I talk about it, he just executed it. So good! I guess you guys got the uh, e showcase, which is an interesting strategy, but would it, is it effective? I don't think so, because the regen is not a good stat when you could be going for more damage or flat health. So if you have flat health and more damage, you're able to farm more, uh, just farm for longer periods of time and get more, more gold per like hit and everything. So. It seems pretty obvious for me, but I don't know. Maybe you guys have counter arguments. Because regen makes you quite vulnerable, right? But he seems to be doing like a decent job, right? Okay, I kind of cannot build anymore in this goddamn base. Uh, let's go for tr these, and then we're gonna go for Workers Guild. There we go. Pretty much waiting for this gold mine at this point. I think that that's gonna be the best use of my lumber. This would would be a little bit better, but it's gonna take way too long until we we just need a bit of income at the, this point. I feel like if I tell him regen is useless, he's he's gonna win the game. <laughs> So what's the next here? So you can kind of see and scout a little bit, but who knows if it's a viable option. Oh, he attacks air, really? That's new for me.
Uh, we can, can actually get rid of uh, most of these, to be honest. Uh, these level threes do suck. So let's get him, get him out of here. Uh, then this is R. Let's get it. Perfecto. I think we're gonna go for two, two or three. I think that should be fine as long as we're getting a uh, Ionix. It's the most important one. He's doing a decent job. I feel like a like a normal player, what he would do at the moment would just go for multi-dimensional. I could just wait for it and completely destroy him. He's so low. He could have died there. Lucky guy. Lucky guy, huh? So at this point we're waiting for a hyper gold mine and that's gonna give us insane amount of gold. Big amounts. Big numbers only. I'll have it up in no time. That's so much damage he needs to run. Yep. Imagine, like, those Omega Tires do damage, so imagine Ionix or Multidimensional, you know what I mean? This could be already over, so I could basically build two... I could do it just to show you guys, I guess. But also I want to kind of go for Reed, because he's not going to come to my base, I just know it. We're gonna build a tower. I guess I could build one over here, right? Yeah, I should definitely build one here, I think. Whew! I could have TP'd and just like E E. That's silence to see. He's gonna die soon, I feel like it. I just know it. Could go for ultra uh, or ultra ionic would be good. Closing in on it for sure, but who knows? Our allies town needs help. Only gonna get alone just fine. Oh my god. Should we try it guys? <gasps> I effed up, didn't I? Yes I did. Ever build two of of these? That's gonna work too. Our allies' town needs help. Clear. Go for a hyper again. Probability of success zero. Two of each should work. Normally, if you really are having like a bigger base, you want to be building as many of these as possible. So you just want to build up your economy very fast. So. Look kind of depends. We're just having fun, right? Fun is good. Let's go for Ultraionic. This is going to give me an insane amount of lumber. It's 26. I hopefully it doesn't find this one. I'm gonna pray to God. Don't mess with the bad guy. Don't mess with the bad guy. Sure. It's simple. Just take the hydraulic phase shift emulator and attach it to the transdimensional photon particle emitter. Where's this guy at? Let the killing begin. Okay, I'm gonna try to TP here. Oh no, he blocked his base. No, why would you do this? They're feeding him so much. Why? Could have been over already. Oh, 
Oh, okay. He just got it. These towers would have done the trick, but he just needed the towers before. <laughs> like one tower of this would have done the trick. You know what I mean? So you need one multi-dimensional, pretty much for uh, slow purposes, and then you wait. You go for the other one. Uh, I guess you could go for S. He's dead. GG. That was a good game. I'm out for this one. That was a pretty fun one, to be honest. Do we go again? Someone is still alive? No, I think we're going to call it there. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Troll vs. Elves times 2. If you guys did enjoy this, let me know down in the comments which version I should be playing. And uh, if you guys want me to try like times 4 or uh, simply try the 8.8. .8, but I think it's a, there's a little bug to it. But uh, yeah. If you guys like these type of videos, let me know down in comments, like the video, subscribe for more, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to be wishing you guys an amazing day, or evening, I'm going to be talking to you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. You shall be king.